Brock Purdy has been cleared to play without any restrictions. And once, since I had done the notes, of course, he's practiced a number of days. Uh, and that was from John Lynch saying that. And for Sam Howell, this is a quote that he had said, at this point, I have total command of the offense. So, Jake, thoughts on who would you give your camp stamp of approval to on this one? Yeah, this is actually really difficult. I think I've done a well, 180 on both of these players in the last, um, the last, I'd say, month and a half or so. Uh, by the way, I'm not worthy of these transitions. Um, they're that well done. But um, I, I think if I had to pick one, it's Brock Purdy, and it's more so about not about the player, but the the team and opportunity he has because of all the weapons in San Francisco. Well, I, I think uh, Elijah Mitchell um, could start at 15, 16 clubs in the league at running back, uh, and he's behind Christian McCaffrey, who's arguably the best running back on any given Sunday. Uh, great movie, by the way. Um, at any point in time. So, uh, you know, obviously not to mention Debo and, and et cetera on down the line, Ayuk and Kittle, et cetera. Um, but Sam Howe, I think, so I, I would pick Purdy, but I, I think you could make the case for, for Sam Howe. Um, and I think he, I stood next to him one time at a dinner and I mean, I, I'm, I'm five, nine. Um, and Sam Howe, I felt like was maybe two, two and a half inches taller than me. He's kind of a broad guy, um, so respect him for that. But I just felt like, wow, how is this guy going to see over an NFL offensive line um, when he, you know, he's probably six feet in, in shoes. Um, but I'm a believer in him. I think that he has the ability to move around in the pocket. Um, and that seems to be that's the trend the NFL is going. I think he's a very confident player. I think he was obviously very successful in making people like De'Ami Brown and Daz Newsom look really good in college. And there's something to be said for that. Uh, not to mention Josh Downs, who's now with the Colts. So um, I think that he he creates opportunity for players to play above their pay grade, if you will. Um, and I'm anxious to see what he brings to the table. He was great against Dallas to end the year last year. I'm not sure exactly where, what Dallas was thinking in terms of like where their head was because they were they were a playoff team at that point. Um, but I'm anxious to see him play more so than Purdy. But I think if I had to pick one or two that I wanted to be my starter. Um, I would say Purdy because of the offensive system, not necessarily the player, but I do think House House got a chance to be successful. Yeah, it very much seems like uh, you know when you look in the San Francisco system, the thought is, all right, can you get the ball out quick? You know, good decision making. At times, you will be asked to make the play, make the throw, mm -hmm. but more broadly, we want you to work within the system and just not yeah. dink and dunk necessarily, but you know, work within the shorter to intermediate routes and let the yak monsters that they've assembled in San Fran mm -hmm. do their best. And yeah, with Sam Howell, you know, certainly if you were say to transplant Brock Purdy over to Washington, yeah, I don't know that he'd necessarily have the same success. Certainly the weapons are vastly different, but you know, Washington does have some good weapons, but also Sam Howell, in my opinion, you know, I think he's the more complete modern day uh, quarterback in terms of, you yeah. know, He's a bit more bruising. I know that was more so in college, uh, but I do think he has, you know, a better frame to him, a good arm. Good point. And yep. got, I mean, he, they both kind of tout a, a good kind of sense of leadership, I think, in very in much different ways. I think, you know, Brock Purdy, Brock Purdy may be a bit more reserved, but I think I've heard stuff from teammates last year as, as they were talking about him basically just being thrust into the starting position after being yep. Mr. Irrelevant. And they were just talking about how you know, just tremendously confident he is. He's humble, but confident at the same time, which is great. Um, but Sam Howell, of course, has a, if, you know, if he's saying he has a command of the offense, I think he has a, a good sense of confidence about himself as well.